I finally came to this beautiful castle I have never visited before, although it's situated in Romania, it's called Corvin Castle or Huniadi Castle. Huniadi Castle is one of the largest castles in Romania and in Europe and is built in the Gothic Renaissance style. The castle is so amazing that it figures on the list of the seven wonders in Romania. The construction of the castle started in the 14th century under the orders of the Voivod of Transylvania. And now after telling you a bit of information about this amazing castle, let's get inside and see how beautiful it is on the inside. It's a very, very, very hot day in Romania, around 36 to 37 degrees. Travel, blogging and vlogging sometimes requires sacrifices. There's a small river swimming right next to the castle which gives even a more charming look to the whole area This is the entrance We're going to buy the tickets now so the price for an adult is 30 lei and if you're a student you'll have to pay 7 lei only. I have no idea how am I going to be able to get some nice photos with all these people. It's super crowded. That's because today is Sunday. And it definitely looks very, very old. And it is because it's like around 600 years old. This is the plan of the whole castle. This is how it looks like from above. This is the new gate tower, it's from uh, the place where we entered. This is the old gate tower, so this is the new gate tower, this is the old gate tower. And the first room, what it can be if it's not the kitchen. Let's get out of the kitchen before I get hungry. That's the gate and the main entrance to the castle and that's the river that streams in the vicinity of the castle. tell you some fun facts about Corvin Castle. The castle is situated in southwestern Transylvania in Hunedoara County. They say that Vlad Cepes, better known as Dracula, was imprisoned here. The name of the castle comes from Matei Corvin, the king of Hungary between 1458 and 1490. The castle is also known as Hunedoara Castle or Huniadi Castle. The most exciting part of the castle is the underground where prisoners were tortured. The castle was the filming location of several cinema productions. Lady of the Castle and Ghost Rider 2 were filmed here. And now we're entering the princess room. Oh, and we have a model of the castle. Mm. That's my shadow, by the way. And this model over here illustrates the castle after the fifth fire that destroyed it on 13 April 1854. According to what is written here. Oh, 
And now we are inside the solitary tower. That is in the southern part of the castle. Which was seriously damaged during the fire in 1854. The fire I was telling you about earlier. This is a really nice room with some pictures of the castle taken during different seasons, like this one is taken in the winter. Oh, and this one is not just a castle. And right here we have some Romanian traditional clothes. This is a married woman clothing. I finished visiting the Corvin castle, it was really nice, it looks like an old castle as it is and now we are going to Cluj Napoca on the way to Cluj Napoca uh, I want to stop by this small beautiful village and the reason why I want to see this village is the mountain behind it let me show you we didn't arrive yet at the village but this is how the mountain looks like it looks better from far so let's go to the village and see how is I arrived at my accommodation in Cluj and it is the coolest place ever. It's situated right in downtown in the heart of Cluj and it looks amazing. This is the kitchen. Here a table and some chairs. The bathroom very big. That's me. Here is the living space. And check out this view. It's right in downtown Cluj. And upstairs here is the bedroom. Let's go and see it. My gosh, these stairs are kind of dangerous and very steep. And of course I will hit my head. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I already hit my head. That's the bed over there and I think we're gonna move it so we can have a better view. We are only gonna spend one night here, but this view is amazing. Guys, I need to show you this elevator, which is super old. Actually, I think the whole building is very old. Maybe more than 100 years. Look, it goes down a little when I get inside. 
it does some really weird sounds. And this is how the building looks like on the outside. It is the University Street. This street covered with all these lights is so cool. Good morning Cluj! We are going to have coffee and breakfast and then we will go to our next destination that you will see in my next vlog. By the way, that statue next to the church in uh, Oniri Square is Matei Corvin, the King of Hungary I was telling you about at the castle.